This is Code.org. I'm currently working on Unit 3 of their CS Discoveries course. Unit 3 is Animation and Games. I'm on Lesson 20, the Game Design Process, Part 11. Let's see what our code does. Yep, we're going to keep going on our game here. And the ladybug should reset now. If yours aren't, go back a few levels. Uh, if you're stuck on any of them, watch my other tutorials. Creating functions. Your program now includes code in two plates in two places to set the enemies on the left side of the screen at random Y locations. You can create a function to reset each of your two enemies to remove repetition from your program. Yes, repetition is bad for programmers. This will make your program easier to read, allow you to change it more easily, and allow you to quickly reset your sprites at other points in your game if you need to. Also, if you start making really big stuff, it, less code means it runs more smoothly. Do this. At the bottom of your page, create two new functions. Okay. Set enemy 1 and set enemy 2. Inside each of these functions, place the code that sets the enemy on the left side of the screen and gives them the random Y position. Okay. So that's from our if statement, isn't it? Set enemy 1. whenever the code for set enemy one got it so let's go like this and we want new functions so i'm just going to add them down here i guess one function two functions i'm going to space it out using the text mode real quick enter enter just so it's easier to read for me set enemy one set enemy two okay like they asked and now i'm going to say show text and they just want the stuff that sets the enemy so i hit show text because i'm going to highlight this and then i'm going to right click if you're on a chromebook or a laptop you can separate your two fingers highlight this stuff press down at the same time and it should right click for you so i'm going to do right click cut because i want to move this and then i'm going to do right click paste and then I'm going to do that again for enemy 2 right click cut all the way down here right click paste there we are and let me get out of this now oop I have some really stuff left over here what's that oh don't like that leftover stuff all right um, and now we want to call the functions. So we now have set enemy one and set enemy two, right? Just like they asked. Yep. But now we want to tell the computer when to run the code in here. Well, when do we want to run it? Well, we want to run it exactly when we were running it. Oops, wrong thing. Running it before. So let's find our function call. And this is what makes the computer, well, run the code in a function. So let's tell the computer here to set enemy one because this is the if enemy one is touching block and now here let's do set enemy two which is where we had those that chunk of code for set enemy two all right let's test it out it should work just like it was before perfect so what I did here is I put this new function calls here and we moved the code down like they asked. And I think that's everything. Yep, great, let's keep going.